Hello, this is Andy Bell. You're watching Proud Television. I'm proud. Also write for other artists? No, not really, no, because I'm greedy, so okay. I, I kind of keep the songs for myself. Do you, you know? really? Yeah, I would love to write for other people though as well. Oh, yeah. That is so awesome. Yeah. You know, I, I've always listened to the music, especially in the late 80s, early 90s coming in, and now you have a box set of all yeah. that stuff that yeah. that that was done before. I was quite um, taken aback by the box set because um, I took a year and a half break from Eurasia because We've been doing it 21 years non-stop, you know, and we had 13 albums, did yes. loads and loads of tours, and I kind of lost myself. I didn't know who I was outside of the band, you know, right. so I had to take a break. And then when this, um, the box set arrived, with all the songs from like 1985 to 2009, uh, yes. I was like, oh my God, this is like, uh, oh, this is all what I've been doing with my life, you know. And I was really proud of it, and um, and I, we do really high quality material. Who, help, who you know? helped you compile all the material? Well, to be honest, it was a guy, a guy from uh, Mute Records in the UK, okay. which one of the, it was one of the last surviving ind independent record labels, okay. and it was bought by EMI, yes. and um, he sold the company but took only half the money to retain his autonomy. So. Um, you know, it's been it's quite a struggle for an independent label okay. and for and for an independent band like us. Now you guys are independent now. Yeah, because okay. you well now it's EMI, so I see. Oh, okay. you know so. Okay. But it's um, you don't get the kind of um, mass exposure that, oh, that right. people usually right. get. You know, exactly. so you have to go all the different under the radar routes. Yeah, routes. But you're doing a lot of different things to keep your name. Yeah. Is Vince doing a lot of different projects on the outside? Well, too? Vince's Vince has got his son now. He's I think he's about five years old, oh, and he lives in Maine. Okay. So I go. I'm going to go and see him in the fall. Yeah. He's married and. Um, so he's been like looking after his child and stuff, you know. He did a tour with Yaz last year, yes. and I'm a huge fan. So uh, I went to see them in Brighton in the UK, right. and when I walked in, the whole audience uh, started clapping and stuff, and I was just in floods of tears, you know. That is so awesome. So um, I have a beautiful life. So Andy, where are you living at now? Are you uh, well, still in London? at the moment, um, I'm uh, my main house is in London, okay. where my ex lives of 21 years, yes. who's American, okay. but I married him in the UK, so everything would be fair for the, so I could meet my new partner. Yes. So now I've been with somebody for three years, and he lives in Hastings on the South Coast, oh, so I go and stay with him, yeah, so. You it's know, it's, it's such a pleasure for my, my young fans out here yeah. to know some of the history oh, yeah. of how your music, yeah. it's just really an honor and pleasure for you to be on my show. Oh, I really appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. I love you. Aw, oh, thank you.